Hello there, my name is Tenarium, and today we are playing Queen of Thieves, Winter Wolf's new game. Because, you know, we play every one of Winter Wolf's games, because why the hell not? They're good. This game is a beta at the moment. So, any unexpected weird crashes, and well, you know why, don't you? Also, something I love in visual novels, there is visual novel mode. There are battles in this game, you don't have to do them. I will be, I'll just be cutting them down for you. Stoneholm, near Basilisk Woods, Arkra. Day 47 of Arborist 657. Do you always find yourself just ignoring the dates or forgetting them very soon? I'd never find myself remembering them. I'd love Dragon Age, but bug at me if I can remember the dates. Ariana, does she have a scar underneath? Or does she just think that weirdly tattooing under her eye is a good thing? What the fuck is up with your moustache? It's so bushy around these areas that it looks like it just sort of gave up as soon as it came to the moustache. Oh, God. It's either that or it came out of, I don't know, some sort of, you know, Christmas cracker or something. What's wrong, Lysander? Thomas Jingoli is coming this way. <laughs> That's not a real name. To our house? Yes. Don't panic. It could just be that she just wants to talk to me as the mayoress. That is normal then, surely, that you'd have people visiting you as a mayoress? Surely he would summon you to the town hall instead of coming to you. Thomas is not known for doing things normally. Just go see, go see to the girls and I will handle this. Don't be afraid, my love. I'm not while you're here. Cheesy. Good, now make sure you keep the girls upstairs. Lysander nodded and walked upstairs. Mayoress Spiros. Oh god, I think we found the bad guy. How big is your nose? Do you find that you accidentally knock things over as you turn around? Christ! General Jingoli, what brings you to my home? Straight to business. Good, I have little time for pleasantries. You don't look like you do much pleasant things. Ariana Spiros, you are under arrest for thievery, assault, resisting arrest, and treason against the government of Acre. I can't sound surprised. Those are serious charges, General. Your proof? I don't think he has proof. Although the way that you're looking shiftily to the left late, <laughs> does make it seem like you are guilty. Your scar. My men inflicted that upon the Queen of Thieves a year ago. A, a year ago, and you've only just got round to... Well, he looks evil, but <laughs> clearly he only looks as evil. The intelligence isn't quite there. My scar is not particularly unique. Perhaps, but it is enough to give me reasonable suspicion. You will come with me. Oh, now is not the time to jump in. No, leave her alone. Lysander lashed out at Thomas with his sword. This is... You remember when they accused you of treason? This is actual treason. So let's let's just remember that before we, before we go murdering. Thomas easily parried him and disarmed him. Insolent peasant. No! Thomas stabbed his sword straight through Lysander's shoulder, twisting the blade before drawing it out. Oh, that's... Oh, my shoulder's wincing slightly in pain. Now you'll never raise your hand to your betters again. Please, General, I will come with you. Just leave my family alone. Only if you confess your crimes before my men and I. Ariana. What? Why would I? Something, something, fair trial. Oh, I guess when you look like that, you don't need fair trials. I'm sorry, my love. I am Ariana Spiros, mayoress of Stoneholm and wife to Lysander Spiros. I was a friend of Lord Raoul Capello many years ago. Now I am his greatest enemy, the Queen of Thieves. Ariana, no. You confess before these witnesses? I do. Take her. No, leave her alone. Oh, God, she shut up, Lysander. Do you really think you're going to be able to take on the Imperial Army? There's not much you can do here. I'm sorry, buddy. Be silent before I cut out your tongue. Pathetic man who cannot even protect his... Have you seen what you're dressed like and what he's looking like? Come on, he can't even grow a moustache. You expect him to fucking kill you? How she chose you over my lord, I will never understand. Perhaps she felt pity for a man like you. Lysander spat on the ground in front of Tom. Maybe, I, I mean... I like life. I don't know about Lysander. He doesn't appear to be too keen on it. You will regret that. Thomas savagely kicked Lysander in the face. Lysander fell to the floor. Wasn't he already on the floor? He heard Thomas walk away before everything went black. Day 23. What day was it before? I don't know. I've already forgotten the date, okay? Look, I did say that I don't remember these dates. 
Wow. Talk about a man with no face. <laughs> no, no, they chopped that off many years ago. I'm actually a chicken. You got my message then. Why did you want me here? I needed to see you if you had the commitment to risk everything. You're quite old now. You... You met, you let that many years go. Wow. I would do anything if you, what you say is true. I'm happy to hear that. You said my wife is alive, prove it. <laughs> He's not exactly the most proactive, quickest worker, is he? She is in Raul Capello's castle. That is not proof. Why don't you walk into his castle and find out? I would die as soon as I cross that threshold. I see our sh Well, I don't actually know. Did they punish us afterwards? It's very hard to tell. Then I suppose you must take what I said on faith. You were willing to come here to find out if it was true. So why don't you find out? You could just prove it to me. Why tell me this and then prove- Does it look like there are fucking video cameras in, in, in this area? What do you want him to do? Sit down and draw a mural of him? Huh? I'm willing to help you find the proof. For a cost, of course. Ah, you are just trying to prey on an old cripple. You're not that old. Give me the price I demand and I will tell you where you can gather the proof that your wife is a- This is fucking shitty evidence. What the fuck is this? Price I demand or I will- And I can tell you- He's not even going to gather the proof for us. Wow. Why should I do that? Because if you gather all this proof, then the way to your wife will be opened. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> we haven't done that in years. Why? You will see. Have some faith that I know what I'm talking about. Faith in you? I do not even know you. Your voice could belong to any man or woman in the street. Normally a sign comes after faith, but this time I will indulge you. The stranger produced a small mirror from his cloak. Look into the mirror. I will show you something which might make you trust that I can see much. M might make you trust that I can see much? Do you mean a lot? I think he means a lot. <laughs> I know, maybe, maybe he's just deliberately being mystical. He's just going to show us a hell load of drugs. Lysander took the mirror and looked into it. His older daughter, Joanne, appeared. She was in a small room using cards to tell fortunes. His second daughter, Kira, appeared next. She was patrolling a city street with a fellow guard. Finally, his youngest daughter, Talia, appeared. She flipped through the air, landing on a human pyramid before flipping off once more and landing in front of it. The mirror had returned to normal. I have not seen them in so long. I can tell you where they are. I think you will need their help to find your wife. Lysander rubbed away the tears that threatened to leak from his eyes. Well, I, I guess that's convincing proof. <laughs> Who needs video cameras when you have magic, huh? Very well, what do you need from me? The location of your daughters is free. The rest will cost you. How much? Your first location will cost you a thousand gold. Do I look like I have a thousand gold? What? How am I to afford that? I'll leave you and your daughters to figure that out. Farewell, Lysander. If you need me, come to this spot again and I will find you. Okay, so I remember the last day was 23. So 55 days have passed. What was so important that you had to ask me to come to this city of all places? <laughs> there are daughters? Fuck me. They either aged well or we aged horrifically. <laughs> God, I hope he meant granddaughter. What was, yeah. Talia, show your father more respect than that. Oh God, it's actually our father. Barely back and you're already pretending to be my mother. Please, I didn't come all the way here to listen to these kinds of arguments again. Father, please tell us why you're here. Does a father need a reason to see his daughters? Of course not, but you made it sound so urgent. If I had time, I would have happily have come to see you if you wrote to me. So, <laughs> what are we going for? Married to someone wealthy, barkeep, I don't know what that is. This isn't Renpai? Oh god, I can't just make this go away. Oh, I'm terrified now. She looks like she's more modern. <laughs> she's figured out what a button does on a t-shirt, or a top, or a blouse, or whatever. Like, she clearly lives in the future. Oh, there you go, time traveller. That must be what it is. About that, how did you find me? I don't even know where I'm going to be half the time and your message was waiting for me. That's one of the reasons I called you here. Someone called me to Arkra out of the blue. When I spoke to them, they told me how to find you. Why did they do that? Because I need your help. To do what? To help you get your mother back. Mother is dead, father. That's what I thought too. The person who helped me f find you 
told me she was alive. Raoul has been holding her prisoner all this time. I wonder how old we are. Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> I guess, I guess five more years together is better than none. Are you sure? I didn't believe them at first. It wasn't until they showed me a mirror that allowed me to see you three that I started to believe. Are you sure this is not some kind of trick? I checked for guards before I came here. Why would you check for such things? No reason. So I presume this person wants something in return. Yes, they want a lot of... Look, all I'm saying is you might need to start taking some more clothes off from now on. Again, that's all I'm saying. You want mum back, don't you? Don't blame me. I'm not the, I'm not the bad guy here. Yes, they want gold. How much? 1,000. What? I know the price is outrageous and that's why I need your help. An old cripple like me couldn't get that sort of money. I don't know how much I could... How I could raise that much. I barely make enough money to keep myself going. You look like you're married to someone rich and now I feel betrayed. Same. We could steal it. <laughs> no! We're the good guy! Oh, for God's sake. Also, why do you have a fork on your head? Oh, God damn it. What? I'm a guard. So, that just means you know how to look out for them. It'll make you a better thief. Are you a thief? No, I'm a performer, but I'm friends with lots of thieves. <laughs> Our daughters didn't exactly turn out the same way, did they? Besides, our mother was a thief. True, but she gave her money to those who needed it. Okay, I see where this is going. <laughs> it's a gender-bent Robin Hood. We need it. Just slightly different story. I don't ever remember Robin Hood being trapped for 50 years. Besides, we're only going to steal from rich people since normal people aren't going to be carrying around gold, are they? So it works. I don't know if I could do that. Joanne has our magic, I have my sparser skills, you have your muscles. Muscles? We're looking at two different people if you're looking at fucking whoever the balls her name was and seeing muscle. Hang on, is she a guard or is she a guard? Because I thought she was a thief, she was a guard, and she was the magical married to a... Oh, God knows. I thought this was Talia and this is Joanne, basically. Yeah, okay, she is a guard. Cool. I'm just as smart as you are, you scrawny brat. Who are you calling a brat? I'm 25, for goodness sake. 25, right, that's it. We've aged awful. We have aged pathetically. Holy crap. <laughs> God, you look like Gandalf, but you're somehow 700 years younger. Girls, please don't start bickering. Lysander sighed. I don't like it, but it's the only way I see of making it. We would need to sell the things we steal. I already planned to sell things, although stealing our goods to sell was not what I had in mind. <laughs> we need a fencer, is what you're saying. I've played Oblivion. Plez. I know the name for these things. I was wondering why we were in here. Isn't it a bit bold to sell things we stole in the same town we steal from? Yes. We would only sell the sorts of things no one would notice. Anything unique we might need to look for assistance. I'm afraid the thieves I knew 20 years ago are likely dead or retired by now. Perhaps you three would have more luck at finding those who can help us. Hang on. The evil guy was actually right at the beginning. We are just a bunch of thieves and evil. Wow. I'm conflicted now. <laughs> so we're we really going to do this? If our mother is alive, we have to. Won't your guard captain be upset? I had to quit to even come here. Oh. Oh. Me too, although the troop would probably let me back in if I asked nicely. Well, I guess we should get started. Yeah, I'm sure they will. Although I feel my asking nicely and your asking nicely differ, if you know what I mean. Grumble, grumble, get close to the mic and snarl. You might want to start dressing a little less fancy if you're going to be working in a shop. I'll take care of that. Just one last thing, Joanne. Remember, magic is illegal here without a license. Oh, yes, I forgot. Oh, you're the mage. Of course you are. Why didn't I think that you were the mage? If they even said so beforehand. That's why you look so mystical. I forgot about that. I know you aren't one to fling fireballs around like those wizards in Grimoire, but try to use it in, uh, only in an emergency. I will, Father, don't worry. <laughs> those guards don't roast themselves now, do they? I'm always going to worry about my daughters. Take this. I know Ariana used them to make her armor more powerful. Sell it or place it in armor sockets to get the bonuses. Attack one, attack fire. Okay. I'm sure I can manage that. A gem, we can sell it! In this gem, you can choose go... Okay. All armors have the same stats. You can prove these basic stats are gems. Okay, that seems easy enough. But as father said, we can also use it to make our armor more powerful. 
To begin, simply click on the arm. Yeah, okay, cool. So, head. So, we just put that there or something. Like that. Confirm. Why did I give that to Kira? Why did I give a fire gem to... Oh, whatever. <laughs> Resistances seem to work. Although, this menu is a lot smoother than their other games have been. The other games has been like Renpai. It's been an... Oh, well, I mean, this is still probably run by, but it's an absolute nightmare to, inv like, investigate around. Whatever. Um, yeah, cool. In that case, we already have, right? Oh, we can empty the socket if we want? Oh, oh, okay, so we can swip around once we get, like, good items. Got it. Confirm. And now we have double-clicked on it, right? Because she's wearing it. Or am I doing something wrong? This is her band. She is now wearing it. De no. Okay. I found law. Kira's headband was not part of the standard issue guard uniform, but her superiors insisted upon her wearing it to cover the marking on her forehead. It actually worked out for the better as an armoured forehead. That didn't have a U in it. Literally, like, a minute ago. There was no U in that, and now there's a U in it. Shocking inconsistency. Literally zero out of ten get- oh, I can't deal with this. For it is particularly useful when breaking up tavern brawls. How many people have you headbutted wearing that? Lost count? Ever killed? Not that you know of. You should put a spike in it. <sighs> I don't know. I think you'd just be called dickhead if you did that, but sure, why not? Anyway, back to fucking finding out how to double click on an item. Clearly, it's easy. I just don't know how. Go. Oh, okay. I randomly clicked on one of the scrolls in like the top right or something. Yeah, this. So, mage offensive skills. Okay, yeah, I get it. Easy enough. Character attributes. Pretty weak. And this is close. There we go. Easy. Easy. I don't know what you guys are worrying about. We got there eventually. We need to drink to something. A toast to a new adventure or something. That I can get behind. Ooh, so it sounds like the guards made you a little less boring. <laughs> I'm not going to let you spoil my mood. You three go to the tavern and have fun. Let me finish putting your beds together. Together? <laughs> they don't roll that way. Thank you very much, Father. I don't drink, Father. I'd rather stay and help you. don't drink! Oh, ooh. Oh, who doesn't drink? That's terrifying. Ah, old habits die hard. Fine, I'll go with you. Someone needs to make sure you don't draw attention to yourselves. Whatever. Yep, and they're going to die. Where the bollocking hell are you going to put beds in this place? <laughs> it's so... Sp I'm hoping there's a back. The three sisters leave. Lysander sighed. It was good to have his daughters back. We'll get back. We'll get you back soon, Ariana. Welcome to the game map. Please note, in the first days of stories, you will need to visit specific... Yep, yeah, cool. Tutorials, got it. Um, so, three sisters shop. That's ours. The woods. That's fucking ominous. Town market, docks, temple, tavern. Got it. Let's click on these things first. Oh my lord, there's a lot of people. Holy fuck. <laughs> we can disable Otome or Yuri? Fuck that. Okay, that's quite cute. There's Otome and Yuri. <laughs> Oh, I can hear just millions of Yuri fans crying about how there's a Tomei in a Yuri game. <laughs> so a million voices had all erupted at once. Uh, party screen. So presumably you're good. Wait, what? Will is five? Aren't you a mage? Why is your will so shit, but your power so good? All right, so you're the tank if ever I saw one. I guess the rogue. So you'd have to be the mage with just awful stats. Okay, got it. On to the tavern we go. This place is a lot noisier at night. Holy. There are people in the background. It doesn't just say there are people in the background. I mean, this man doesn't have a mouth, but you can't be always p too picky. This man over here is... I mean, he's terrifying me, is a nice way to put it. But there's people in the background of a visual novel. This is terrifying. I'm not sure if I can get behind this. This place is a lot noisier at night. I like it. You would. A polite cough tells the sisters they have company. Looking up, they see a waitress looking at them expectantly. 
Hang on, I thought we were supposed to change it to something less fancy. What the fuck is this? Are you looking to get laid tonight? Oh, man. Hello, what would you like? More gain? More moi gain? I don't know. She looks like a necromancer if ever there was one. You are so thin. Your arm is, like, non-existent. I don't know how you're holding a tray up with that. Tea, please. Sorry, we only serve tea during the day. We are serving traditional tavern beverages, though. Water, then. Come on, Joanne. Live a little ale, please. I'll have ale, too. Okay, one water and two ales. I'll bring them as soon as they're ready. Traditional tavern beverages. Water. The pubs I go to, you'll get some water thrown over you. Why won't you drink? Drink and magic don't mix well. Liar, you've been drunk before. Well, I don't want to get drunk tonight, okay? Can't we just relax? I want to drink and enjoy myself tonight. I think there is a ginger in the corner of the room who'd very much like to join you for that. You're right. Sorry, Kira. The waitress reappeared once more, drinks in hand. Well, not drinks in hand, but we can't be perfect. She placed a tankard down in front of the two younger sisters and a cup of water in front of the eldest. Here are your drinks. Will there be anything else? Um, I don't know. What else do you sell? What's your name? Oh, she's blushing. Oh, how fucking adorable. Great. I, I know who I'm not speaking to in the future. <laughs> what? Why do you want to know that? Don't know. I just do. My name's Talia. The scary one is Kira and the boring one is Joanne. My name is Morgane. It is nice to meet you. She is now winking at us after blushing. This is terrifying. Hello, Morgane. I'm Joanne, although I'm not boring despite what my sister says. <laughs> Oh, whoop, whoop, the party train's coming into Joanne Central. She denied something cleanly and boringly. Whoop, whoop. It's party time. What time is it? Time to knock your shoes off. It's party time. I'm sure you are not, miss. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop going into boring analogies. Joanne's jaw clenched slightly. <laughs> not for the first time. She hated being called that. Just Joanne, please. I'm not much older than you after all. Hang on, what was said? Miss. Right, okay. Yeah, to be fair, I hate being called sir. I'm I'm sorry, I did not mean to offend. Why would I? The person who gets offended over that is going to be a very difficult customer. You didn't. Please don't worry about it. The waitress turned her attention to the middle of the three sisters, and you are Kira. Oh, she's got chatty all of a sudden. Kira nodded. It is nice to meet you. Do you mind if I ask you something? Kira could feel Morgane's eyes all over her, and it made her feel a little strange. What do you want to know? You look very strong. How did you get all those muscles? Vigorous masturbating. How the f do you think? Weight training. I used to be a guard. Now I'm the sword for hire. Oh my, that's impressive. I don't think I could ever do that. Kira looked the girl up and down. Morgane had some what would call childbearing hips. That's a terrifying phrase I thought I'd never hear. She thought about agreeing with her and then thought better of it. Just a matter of training. I'm sure it is more than that, but thank you. For what? N nothing Morgane. Yes. I think the tavern owner is getting angry. Morgane looked over her shoulder and winced as she realised her employer was staring at her. Yeah, I did think it was odd. Also, I'm almost certainly pronouncing her name right, so I can't wait for you guys to correct me. Don't worry. In part two, we won't fuck up as much. As much. I'm sorry, I've been talking too long. I need to go. See you later, Morgane. Bye, Morgane. The waitress walked off, visibly wincing as the tavern owner angrily pointed at another table that was waiting to be served. I feel a little guilty now. The girl was so nice that we got her into trouble. No, no, no one made her talk to us. <laughs> yeah, it's her fault. What a bitch. Oh, Joanne sighed, I suppose. Huge hips, that girl. Talia, what she does. I think she looks just fine. Me too. And she, she looked bad, just I think she enjoys her. Her food! Are you shitting me? Oh yeah, I bet she can't fucking stop going down with those pies. I bet she sleeps at four just in case she gets peckish during the night. Who doesn't? We're not all like you. We can't just eat anything we like. <laughs> Coming from the scrawniest guy. It's very difficult to take these things when everyone is just thin. Like, everyone here is thin. It ex <laughs> or, like, the same looking weight. It is very difficult to take weight things seriously. I'm not scrawny. Talia, Kira, let's just drink and head out. We've got a busy day tomorrow. Talia pouted and Kira just smirked before picking up her tankard before and draining it in one go. Another ale. 
We're going to be carrying Kira home again, I know it. I take it back, and I'm glad you hardly drink. As Joanne predicted, Kira got too drunk to walk her home on her own, and so she and Talia were forced to help Kira home. <laughs> Damn it, Kira, you're heavy. Just an advice for all you guys out there. Uh, two things you should never say to... Well, one thing you should never say to a girl staring you right there in the face. <laughs> never do that. <laughs>